In this video, I'm going to cover installing content packs into my memory suite on the Mac. Previously, we offered content installers, which would um, push the content into the My Memory Suite program. Uh, we had Mac-specific, Windows-specific files. Uh, we've now switched to the zip format, where the program is actually going to import. It's going to pull the content out of these zip files and put it in the software. It's uh, also that general zip file can be expanded for use with other programs like Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. We need to make sure that we have the newest version of My Memory Suite installed. We can check to see if there are any updates by using the help menu. Choose help, check for updates. And we can see that I do need to update. So I'm just gonna click next. The software will download the new update and give me the option to install the update. So I'm just gonna choose yes, execute now program closed and the updater will begin. I'm going to enter my password. And then we'll just click next, leaving all the default values. Accept the license agreement. Um, the installer will pop up this registration screen since we've already got the program. We already have it in our account. No need to do this. Just close the tab and then click the installer down here in your dock. Uh, that brings it back to the front and uh, we can actually go ahead and run my memory suite again. That'll get the program open. And while it's running, I'm going to eject this disk image icon off the desktop by right clicking it, choosing eject. Another thing we'll need to make sure of is that My Memory Suite has access to the folders that uh, it will need for albums and exports and imports. Uh, so we can do that by checking from the Apple menu. We can go to System Preferences and down to Privacy and Security and then Files and Folders. My Memory Suite should be in there and if we expand the little triangle we'll see that Desktop Documents and Downloads are all accessible to the program. Uh, if any of these are not set, just click those little switches. You may have to enter your computer password to unlock the control panel. Um, and then once that's done, you'll get that message that says, hey, this program needs to relaunch in order for those to apply. Uh, I'm going to choose later because I don't need to do that right now. So desktop documents downloads all available. The other option is to actually head back and there's a full disk access option here. You'll, uh, if you have My Memory Suite on an external hard drive or your downloads or your albums on an external hard drive, you'll definitely want to add full disk access uh, to uh, My Memory Suite. So to do that, you click the plus button and then it um, will show up under Applications, My Memory Suite, and then select the application and add it. Again, I'm getting the message that those new permissions won't affect it until uh, until we quit the program and reopen it. So once you've got everything um, set, then you can close your system preferences. And if you did have to make adjustments, go ahead and close the program and reopen it. Otherwise, uh, you were ready to move to the next step. We need to check and make sure Safari has the proper settings um, when we download those zips. Safari might try to expand those zips, then that won't work. My memory suite won't recognize them. So I'm going to switch to Safari and I'm going to go to the Safari menu and choose settings and the general tab. And then right here at the bottom is a open safe files after downloading. Mine wasn't set, but yours might have a check in it. Remove the check and then close the tab. That way those zip files are not automatically expanded. Now we can just download the zip files. I'll just do the first five in my account. So I'm going to click the general zip and the next one and the next one there and there. Okay, so now I have five of my zips downloaded. I can see that each of them is already finished. So I'm going to switch back to my memory suite and I'm at the welcome screen. I don't need this open, so I'm going to close it. I'm going to now go to File 
and I'm going to choose Import Download from the File menu. <clears throat> if you haven't done this before, you might receive a message indicating um, that you need to allow my memory suite access to your downloads folder. If it asks about that, definitely choose OK and allow. Um, I'm going to click the date modified column. I'm going to click it once and then twice. That'll sort the new items at the top by date. So you can see that I have those five items in the list at the top. I'm going to click the first one, hold down shift, click the second one, and choose open. I get a message for each kit indicating that it was imported. It'll tell me the category it was imported to and what was imported. So this one was a uh, embellishment pack that went into Holidays Christmas, an embellishment pack that went into Beach, embellishments went into Season Winter, um, a backgrounds pack that went into Holidays Christmas, and then another embellishment pack that went into Holidays Christmas. So all of those are imported now, and I can show you real quick how to access those by making a new album. I'm going to choose Design and Create from Scratch down here, just a 12 by 12 one page. I'm going to click OK on the Trim Guide message, and I'm going to access them from the Control Panel. You can access them from the galleries on the left or by clicking the Add buttons along the top, but I like the Control Panel, so I'm going to click Backgrounds and Add. And then I'm going to expand these categories, holidays, so you can see holidays, Christmas, and I've got the background pack that we just installed. So I'm going to add a background paper, and then I'm going to open my embellishments control panel and click add there. And again, you can see that the beach anchors away was installed into there. Uh, again, holidays and Christmas, and I have deck the halls as well as the Christmas craft. Um, kits, so I can just choose one and add that to the page. Another thing that's really handy about the new version of my memory suite is we added the option to show a list of installed kits. This can be really handy to compare to your online list um, and know what's been installed. So if you go into the file menu, there's now a list installed kits option. If you click that list, it will show what's been installed. You can see that the five kits that I just installed, as well as the My Memory Suite 9 uh, base content has been installed. And if I compare that to my downloads list on the website, you know, I could look and I'd see that those five have been downloaded, as well as, you know, My Memory Suite 9 kits. Obviously, my account has a lot more kits that can be installed, and it's pretty handy to be able to reference uh, what's been installed and compare that to the downloads list.